Good day everyone, I am Dr. Nuha Fiza from Nila University. For today's conference, I will present research idea on the topic of developing a framework for gig workers' well-being in Malaysia. Here are the topic outline that I will cover throughout my presentation. Why I choose to conduct this study is because the following reasons. The gig economy is rapidly expanding and evolving on a global scale and Malaysia has emerged as a leader in this area. The Malaysian gig economy is expected to grow from 371.4 million in 2021 to 650 million in 2025. About 4 million people in the Malaysian workforce are working in the gig economy. In fact, under Malaysia's draft plan, for 2021 to 2025, the gig economy is included with the, with the government taking steps to regulate the sector to ensure worker welfare. Plus, due to the technological advancements, online platform and marketplace such as Grab, Foodpanda, freelancers and etc. have continuously rising the demand for gig workers. And according to the UNCDF 2022 report, by 2025, the gig economy is expected to contribute to the global economy around 11.3 trillion ringgit Malaysia. The impetus for this study arose from a number of instances involving gig workers. It is a major concern for the gig workers due to the increasing well-being issues such as safety and security, workers' protection aspects, uncertain income rate and work-life balance. In Malaysia, gig workers are exposed to the road hazards and injury, specifically those that working as driver services. Even though gig work offers flexible working hours, most of the gig workers, especially grab drivers, are working more than 8 hours due to the low income rate, thus jeopardize their work-life balance. In the literature perspective, the discussion on gig workers' well-being is still scarce, especially in Malaysia context. While there have been initiatives from government and regulatory bodies in safeguarding the interests of gig workers, there is a need for a more comprehensive framework in addressing well-being of gig workers in Malaysia to ensure the healthy gig economy. Practically, there is an urge from the MDEC, Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation, for the government to focus on the development of a gig economy framework that enable gig workers to receive appropriate guidance, thus increasing their well-being. How we define gig worker? Gig worker as independent contractor or individuals that employ under contract for service. However, national social security system does not cover self-employment since a social protection funded on employment has been advocated in Malaysia. Thus, the gig worker is unprotected under labor law with untitled benefits compared to formal workers. Plus, there is no provision in current labor law that regulate the gig economy in Malaysia. So, in case of accidents that lead to injury or deaths, gig workers are entitled to receive compensation from social security organization. However, their position as employees does not fall under Malaysian's labor law regulations. These uh, lead to the question about well-being of gig workers, specifically in Malaysia context. Based on previous studies, well-being can be defined in terms of psychological states and emotional state. In this research, we examine well-being in the perspective of job satisfaction and life satisfaction because the line between work and life is becoming increasingly blur due to the widespread use of mobile internet and it might be difficult to draw a clear line between a gig worker's personal and professional life. Even though previous studies address some predictors to well-being such as financial precarity, precarious working conditions, emotional aspect and many more, but in Malaysia, there are limited studies to test the association of these predictors to the well-being of gig workers. Referring to the Spitzer concept on psychological empowerment, the three dimensions which are meaning, competence and autonomy can be a predictor to well-being of gig workers which is, will be included in this study. 
and relying on the conservation of resource theory, some individuals began to recover psychologically from the negative effects of he or she experienced. Therefore, two resources, which are resilience and support from the government towards the welfare of gig workers, will be included in the research framework. These are the research questions and research objectives that will be used in this study. The method applied in this research is quantitative. The population in this study is gig workers in Malaysia, which is about 4 million. Therefore, the sample size for this study is 384. And the unit analysis for this study will be gig workers from diverse categories such as ride sharing, delivery drivers, freelance writers, content creators, freelance graphic designers, independent software developers, independent household and errand services. The sampling technique used in this study is simple random sampling which is focused on the main geographical areas such as Kuala Lumpur, Selangor, Johor, Perak and Pulau Pinang. And the data analysis that will be used in this study is SPSS and Smart PLS. This is the proposed research framework for this study. The three independent variables here has been proven from previous study which is taken from Spritzer framework. But we need to test it in the Malaysia context. And there are few new variables added in this framework which are precarious working condition and precarious financial as independent variables and we also have resilience as mediating variables and we also have government initiative support, family support and peer support as moderating variable based on the conservation of resource theory. These are the direct hypotheses used in this study. And these are indirect hypotheses used in this study to test the mediator of resilience and to test the moderating effect of government initiative support, family support and peer support. These are the construct used in this study which is adopted from previous studies. And this is the expected results from this study. It is expected that if this study is carried on to the completion, it is expected that the new model of a gig workers' well-being will be produced that highlighted the predictors to the well-being in the Malaysia context. And it is also expected that a new input for government and related bodies to improve policy and regulations which is in line with IR4. Other expected result is well-being awareness among gig workers is expected to be produced yeah, in order to sustain uh, gig workers in their gig career. And last expected result is in terms of social impact, the new inputs for government and related bodies to empower the citizen itself, especially for gig workers' well-being, which is in line with Malaysia Madani concept.